one of the things that I feel are, is really important is um, is convincing students of the relevance of your subject to them personally. And I spend a lot of time at the beginning of my course, and particularly with engineering studies, um, explaining to the students what is involved in the course and how um, it might lead them somewhere in the future. I can use examples from um, previous students that have gone through it. It might be that some might see the course as a, a way of um, to university to follow a course, maybe engineering course at university, but for those who aren't so academically inclined, I tried to make sure that they realise that at least by the time they finish my course they will know more about the world around them, they'll be able to look at things and understand how they're made, what they're made from. Um, and I try to keep reinforcing that right throughout the course, that um, isn't it great that you now understand when you sit in that aeroplane and you look at that wing, you understand why this plane flies. Students need to know uh, what sort of assessment they're, they're going to be led towards, what, what's required of their, their assessment. And I think that's sort of something that's established right at the start, that this is how you're going to be assessed and th these are the requirements of, of what you need to know to be able to, to fulfil the requirements of this particular unit of work. As society and culture teachers within our school also upload everything to the Moodle which makes it really easy for us if we're away for a day, we're able to catch up by going on the internet and accessing the Moodle and the day's lesson and what we've done in that lesson is on the internet, mm. which makes it a lot easier for studying also. Or they're like always open to you coming up to the staff room and if you've been away for a day or something, just coming in and talking to them or they're always, they always put time for you. With the technology as well, like the smart boards that have been installed in the school, I think that's really important in engaging us because we do exercises of um, mind maps and things where we physically get up and write on the smart board ourselves, which is really good, I think, just to get everybody involved. And I think that really helps to stick it in the brain a lot as well. Yeah, and I think presentations like on the smart boards and yeah. that is really helpful as well because I know it feels like you can interact more as well. So Yeah, and on the interacting when you can interconnect with other schools, we've been doing that in some of my classes and it's really good because you get the input of other people and it's, I find yeah. that that really helps because yeah. you yeah. get everyone's opinion. and. I think that's really yeah. good. That's great with, with English as well, um, especially some of the texts we focus on. Um, you need more than one interpretation and it's really, really good to have interactions with other schools as well because they offer such a, um, a wider, bro uh, a broader um, input on the text too. So when we're, when we're doing essays and things like that, it's especially good when, when we're writing it because we have so much more to talk about and so much more knowledge. And you might get an idea from another school that you haven't thought of or anyone in your class has so yeah. that's always good. And the study days, going to study days, um, yeah. our teachers have been taking us to a lot of those and they're really useful just getting the feedback from HSE markers and seeing kind of the competition I think that actually really encourages you. I find the, the best thing that teachers can do to stick a lesson in uh, in my brain is to relate it to something in my life or something that just that is just general interesting uh, because that way it sticks in my brain and that way I can remember it for a long time and I can use it in a test more easily. Usually um, the more like fantastic the story is the better, more it sticks in your brain. <laughs> like my um, engineering teacher used the story of his sister crashing his bike to explain how materials relate under stress and stuff like that, so that stuck with me for a long time. Mm -hmm.